friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the Tiffany ring. That is the most iconic, most popular engagement ring of all time. Now this guys, this ring was first introduced 135 years ago, the same year that Coca-Cola hit the shelves. So it's been around forever and will continue to have high demand probably for the rest of our lifetimes. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you We'll give you a little bit, a bit of background about Tiffany, the company, and then we're going to talk about my ring in particular. I am going to show you exactly what it looks like, provide you with videos that are in natural light and so forth, and then we are going to finish by talking about the four C's and why Tiffany rings command a higher price. All right, guys. So this video has three chapters, so you can skip ahead if you would like, or you can repeat sections that are of interest to you. Let's talk about why the Tiffany setting is unique. So, the before the Tiffany setting was created, most diamond rings were in what I like to call a turtleneck. So basically, the diamond was choking in a cloak of metal, and you couldn't really see it well except for the top of the diamond. Mr. Tiffany was like, I believe a diamond should have maximum brilliance, sparkle, and shine, and we want to see it all the way around, and this diamond should sit on a pedestal. Therefore, he created this six-pronged setting that allows a ring to sit up, allows a diamond to show through all the way around, and that is how the Tiffany setting became iconic and is still one of the most popular engagement rings to this day and has been replicated by many, many other jewelers. Now, as far as buying an engagement ring at Tiffany goes, the experience is phenomenal. You will be presented with champagne in the beautiful crystal glasses, and they just make it such a great experience for the couple. So if you are not into surprises or you would rather be there on the day your ring is being bought, then I would definitely say go together as a couple. They do make it fun for you, and it's a great experience. You get to try on a bunch of different rings and it's just wonderful. Your ring also comes with lifetime warranty, so if you're ever close to a store, you can go in there, get your ring cleaned at any time. I live close to Phipps Plaza, I pop in there, they clean my ring free of cost, I hang out, look at other things. Also, if anything should ever happen to your ring, I've had mine for close to two years, no issues, but if anything should ever happen, your ring is under warranty and they will take care of it for you. So let's talk four C's real quick and then I will show you my ring up close and where it falls on, on the four C scale. So the first one is color. Color just refers to how yellow or how clear the ring is. Clarity, that's whether you can see right through the ring or it has inclusions or is cloudy. Uh, carrot, carrot weight. How big is the rock? How heavy is the rock? And then the um, fourth one, which is cut. Now the first three are just dependent on the diamond that the jeweler chooses in the first place. There's not much control that the jeweler has over that except for choosing a nice diamond to begin with. The fourth one, cut, the jeweler has complete control and it is up to them what they're going to turn this diamond into. This is where they're able to create a masterpiece for you and that is what Tiffany does extremely well. Every single Tiffany diamond is excellent cuts and that is at the top of the scale. So you will find maybe a larger diamond from another jeweler, maybe a more colorless diamond or whatever. But when you put it next to a Tiffany ring, the Tiffany will have more brilliance, more sparkle, more shine due to the excellence and the precision of the cut of the diamond, which it is done to create more vibrance in the ring, more of that what I call the firework effect because the precision of the cut lets more light in and it reflects more light out. These pictures and videos that I'm showing you are in natural light, so it's not a matter of manipulating the light to create the effect, kind of like they do at Costco and some other stores. <laughs> the ring is actually naturally brilliant, just like that. And for me, that was the number one um, criteria in terms of four C's. The most important to me was cut because that is what's gonna make the difference in how pretty your ring actually looks. So anyway, my ring is close to three carats. 
I thought that was a great size for my fingers. I didn't want it to be overly big because I want I wanted a round ring, which is a solitaire. That's what Tiffany is known for. And I feel like when a round ring gets too large, it starts to lose its beauty. So if I wanted a larger ring in terms of carrot, I would have gone for maybe an oval, but I really, really wanted a round ring. Also, it is basically colorless. So my ring is very, very clear. It has no color, no tint to it. You can basically see right through it. And clarity is excellent. It has no inclusions. It is a pure diamond. It is really, really a gorgeous rock. And we were really lucky to find basically a perfect, perfect ring. So in terms of cuts, again, this is a Tiffany Solitaire. So the cut is absolutely precise. Um, you'll probably, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not smooth across the top. It's not a flat surface. The jeweler has cut little grooves into it, little hills and so forth in order to make this ring reflect light even more than usual. So why does a Tiffany ring cost more? One, the name. It's Tiffany and Company. This ring started 135 years ago, as we talked about earlier. So therefore, just like any other designer or luxury product, the name means something, the name holds value, and your product is going to hold value and mean something for many, many years to come. And so they charge a premium for their name, yes. And the second thing, which is what we were discussing, is the brilliant cut of the ring. Due to this precision in the cut, due to the beautiful diamonds that they choose to begin with, due to the fact that you could put this ring next to another from another company and the brilliance will surpass it, and I've proven that many times, that's one reason, and well, that's the second reason a Tiffany diamond is going to cost more. Also guys, when it comes to rings, the center diamond is very important to the overall price that you are going to pay. So if you have a whole center diamond like I do, it is going to cost a whole lot more than if you have maybe a smaller center diamond that is surrounded by a halo or a pave diamond similar to this David Yerman ring that I have. It is 1.1 carats, so two carats less than my Tiffany diamond, but you can see the surface almost looks like it's the same size, but the difference with this ring is it's just little fragments of diamonds. There is no whole diamond, there is no center diamond, and therefore it commands a much smaller price point than a whole diamond ever would. So in terms of selecting your engagement ring, even if it is from Tiffany, if you would like to pay less or get a better price, what you can do is select a smaller center diamond and then get a halo going around it. I'll show you one from the Tiffany collection here. So that way the center diamond is not as big, so you will pay less for the ring overall, but it still looks large and it still has the sparkle and the shine. So that is one way that you can. You're probably aware of the iconic Tiffany packaging, which is the pretty blue box. This is how your ring will come, has a little button, it flips open. This is really a nice bonus for buying a ring from Tiffany. And this is the exterior box that it comes in. Obviously, I've kept both of mine because they're super duper cute. With the purchase of your ring, you will also get one of these cute little pouches that you can take with you when you travel. And I think almost every piece of jewelry you buy from Tiffany will come with one of these because it's very important not to get your jewelry scratched. Um, so yeah, this is another thing that you will get with your ring purchase. I am filming a video right after this for my Cartier Love Bracelet and my David Yerman Cable Bracelet, two other iconic pieces of jewelry. I have talked about them in other videos, you can check those out, but I'm about to film something that will have the complete details on both of them, so be sure to check those out. If there's anything I missed in today's video, please let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. I will be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe for more content like this. See you guys in another video.